Our former player, Jide Olukbodi, joins us live from the Al Khalifa Stadium, where Senegal are up against Ecuador. Well, Jide, glad to have you on Sports Desk this evening. It's a make or mass situation uh, for the Teranga Lions, who are African champions. After over 20 minutes of action, have the Senegalese convinced you that they mean business today? Oh, yes. Hi, everyone. Yeah. I mean, the Senegalese team, they've actually taken the game to Ecuador. I know Cissé has changed the tactics. He's gone from a 4-4-2 to 4-3-3. And in DIA and Sabali, they're causing problems down the left of the Ecuadorian team. So, um, so far, uh, the, second, the Senegalese guys, they've, they've, take, they've lost two big chances. I just hope he doesn't come back to hurt them. The stadium is electrifying. There's a lot of support. I'm going to take you right into it. So you see the Senegalese guys are over here and they're over there as well. So there's a lot going on in the stadium. There's a lot of support. I can tell you that today is the Senegalese home game. And so we're rooting for them. They're playing well. We hope that the three points will be enough today to take them through. All right. So from your, your report, it's clear that the Senegalese team are dominating and then looking like the better team against Ecuador. But let's talk about Qatar now. They are one goal down against um, Holland. It means if the result stays this way, Qatar would have lost all three matches in the group stage. Qatar has organized one of the best World Cup tournaments in the history of the game. It's a digital, a digital World Cup, I'm told. And they have invested so much in facilities and infrastructure. But the team became the first to crash out. Even if they beat Holland today, they are going nowhere beyond the first round. How disappointing is this for the host team and the fans out there in Qatar? Yeah, it's quite disappointing. You see a lot of them, you know, when they talk about their team, they're not happy. But, you know, they've got a lot to improve on. They've got a lot to work on. They've got a lot to build on as well. I mean, the stadium here, they're magnificent. I mean, every stadium here is superb. So the facilities are here. And, you know, I won't be surprised if in a few years we see them rise to the pinnacle of Asian and their world football as well. Because these guys are spending big money. Hundreds of millions of dollars have gone into this project. And I'm sure they're not just going to allow it to go like that. All right, Jide Olugbodi, former Premier League player, thank you so much for your time on the program today. Glad to have you. You're welcome, yeah.